Hey, good morning, everybody. What's up? Time for today's YouTube video. And actually, I was scheduled for two Fish the Moment on the Water lessons this weekend, but we got some super nasty weather coming in. It's supposed to get down to like to five degrees later this week, so we had some cancellations. So it gives me a chance to get caught up on a little bit of tackle, a little bit of map, uh, breakdown work, and just some stuff you can do inside. But hey, a couple different things before we get started on, on today's tip. Just wanted to remind you guys quickly, uh, February 18th, uh, Johnny, and I ha Johnny and I have our next uh, online seminar, which we're going to do a pre-spawn seminar, pre-spawn techniques, patterns. It's going to be really interesting, uh, full of information. If you guys are interested, you can go sign up on fishthemoment.com. And also just a reminder that I'm selling uh, t-shirts and hoodies on my site, my Fish the Moment site, or excuse me, my intuitive angling site. So you can, uh, if you're interested in ordering one of those, uh, you can see them at the bottom of my uh, YouTube page or on there. But all that would be appreciated. So let's get into today's tip a little bit. And today we're going to talk about one of my favorite all-time flipping baits, and that's a tube. Um, a tube, you know, doesn't get as much attention as it used to for a couple different reasons. You have so many different other soft creature bait options. You just have basically have more options. But there are times when a tube is absolutely the most effective pitching and flipping bait that you can use. And people still use it a lot for small mouse up north with a jig head, but I'm talking specifically about flipping in this particular video. A little bit of history on the flipping tube. You know, um, the tube started out being, it was called the Fat Gets It back in the mid 80s. A guy named Bobby Garland invented it from out west, brought it east. It caught on here around Tabor Rock Lake. I remember using it like on an eighth and 16th ounce jig head, finesse fishing with it. Um, you, you know, back in the mid late eighties, but eventually what happened is in the early nineties, uh, there was a, a larger version made with some different colors. And originally the fat gets, it was like a, like shad type colors, but somebody started making some green pumpkins, some blacks, that type of stuff. And there was a handful of guys, including myself around this part of the country in Arkansas that started doing really good in tournaments, uh, flipping this thing. Um, I used to fish the Central Pro-Am tournaments. I won a couple tournaments on, a, you know, with partially with the tube back in the early 90s. There were other guys winning stuff on tubes. Nobody was talking about it until this one guy in Arkansas, um, he won a couple tournaments on the tube, and then he sort of gave it away, the secret away to everybody, and it just uh, exploded, and its effectiveness sort of went downhill. But still, it remains one of the most effective flipping baits today that there is under the right conditions. So my secret that I'm going to share with you guys today is my rigging for the thing. We can get into, you know, like when and how I fish the tube in a later video. But in this particular thing, I want to show you how to rig this thing because there's, there's definitely a secret to rigging it to maximize uh, the effectiveness of it, getting more bites and landing the fish. So first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to hold up two identical tubes here. We're going to get started. I'm going to run you through the whole thing here. These are just, uh, you know, like a smoke red. Most of the time I use the zoom tubes. Um, I do use like one like this. This is just a generic uh, homemade tube. It's, I, I like the color on it. But what first thing I do is like with all my plastics is I break up the, break up the salt. And there's probably not another uh, soft plastic bait that is important to break up the salt that there is on a tube. Because a tube has to, it, it's got some thick walls on the inside of it, and they're and they're pretty stiff most of the time. And if, if you don't break this saw lip on there, it's actually twice as hard for you to penetrate the hook in there. Plus, I really like the way it looks after you break the saw lip. Here's the difference here. Right? So much, see how much more natural this one looks here than than the stock one. It's a big deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll talk about this a lot. So the next thing I do, okay, I broke my saw lip. Next thing I do is I want to take a pair of scissors and I want to cut like a, I'm going to come in from the bottom of the tube and I'm going to cut like a one inch opening down the side of it. So I've just split it open in the open. And what this does, this gives you a channel to put your hook through. So you only have to penetrate one side of the plastic and you don't have to penetrate two sides. This is a huge, huge tip right here because I guarantee this will double your, you know, bite to land ratio. Hook that I use in it is a three to four aught Gamagatsu EWG. You don't want to overwhelm the tube with the hook. I found the three or four aught size works the best. And another little key on this is make sure, 
that you wet the hook before you put it in because with the salty tubes, it goes in so much easier. If you don't, it'll tend to wad up on the top. Come in about a quarter of an inch. Then I'm gonna, actually, well, let me, actually I'm gonna, let me put it here on the, uh, if I got one with a piece of line on it, it might be easier. Okay, coming through about a quarter of an inch. <clears throat> And this way, you've got one side that, that's penetrated, just like that. Another important thing is don't hook the point of your hook back into the tube. Lay it flat along the top because it's still super weedless, but you'll definitely get a lot more uh, hookup, better hookups by not putting that point back into the plastic. Okay, the next thing I do is, I, is I'm going to use my uh, mark and die again. And Every time that I fish a tube, unless I'm fishing a black tube, um, I'm always putting some type of dye on it, whether it be chartreuse, orange, blue, whatever. It can be a lot of different dyes. And I don't like to use a lot of dye. I just like to use a little bit just to give it just a little bit of flash of color, as you can see there. Just a little bit, not much. Okay, the next thing I do is I'm going to show you guys how to rig this up is I take a plastic bead and this is just a just a Carolina just a basically a Carolina rig bead and I'm gonna put that on there like this and then I've got my weight on it and that's my setup like that and what this does is that bead allows to, to be like a clicker and when I'm flipping heavy cover, you know, that bead will definitely click against there like that. And this is a big deal. If you're fishing this thing over any type of limbs or bushes and that type of stuff, it'll get you a lot more bites with that. And also another thing about tube fishing is uh, remember, if you can get by with it, don't peg the sinker. You'll get a lot more bites and better hookups um, without pegging that sinker. So unless I'm fishing super, super thick stuff, I've always got it hanging free there. So let me show you the difference here. I'm gonna put a hook in the stock tube that I showed you right off the bat. I'm gonna show you the, the difference in this modification. What we look at. This is just the stock tube. I'm going through both sides of the plastic like that. So here's my finished product versus the stock tube, as you can see there. You know, I've got the hook, I've got the bead, I've got the, I've got the slice in the back side of it. I got the tail dyed, and the problem you have, like this stock one right here, if you don't break the plastic up, this is super hard right here, super hard. You've got this side of the plastic, and you've got that side of the plastic to penetrate, and you can just, I can just feel this thing. It's like, you know, it just doesn't feel natural. It feels like it'd be hard to penetrate. So anyway, that's my setup. Um, this is my flipping tube deal. This is one of my favorite setups that I have in fishing still. Uh, <clears throat> I'll, we'll go into more detail as far as, you know, rigging it and, you know, type of areas to fish at a later video. But <clears throat> basically at this point, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how I like to rig it up, you know, that will allow you to get more bites and land more fish that you get. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you like this video, if you like this little tip, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And um, we'll be back tomorrow with another video. See you.